Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's market forecast for the week ending March 19th, 2021. My name is Justin Bennett with Daily Price Action. And in today's forecast, we're going to look at the euro, the pound, gold, Bitcoin, and VET. That's VeChain's native token. So the Forex markets have been a little slow recently, but gold is starting to bounce from that 1680 area and cryptos are starting to absolutely rip this weekend. So I'm going to show you what I'm looking for there, including where VET could be going over the next few weeks. All right, so let's get to it right now. Quick disclaimer that today's video is for educational purposes only. All views are my opinion and are not intended as investment advice. Forex is a high reward, high risk business, and you should not trade with borrowed money or money you cannot afford to lose. See the description of this video for the full disclaimer. So first up, we have the Euro USD. And I mentioned this last week where we had this false break. And at the time it was a potential false break below this descending channel. Now it was a bit speculative at the time, but I did tell members that I got in following the four hour close, the first four hour close above this level on this candle. And I was waiting to see if the pair could close the day above 119.15 before I added to that position. So we needed a daily close above this area. This is what I talked about last week. You can see where 119.15 was this close, this open and also this high. And sure enough, we got the close above it. And guess what? The very next day on Thursday, the low was exactly 119.15. Now we did see a big pullback on Friday, but once again, 119.15 came in as support. So if we look at this on the four hour time frame, you can see where this area right around 119.15 again has served as a critical area. So as long as we're above this, this week, I do like the Euro USD higher up toward this area between 120 and 120.30. So looking at the daily time frame, you can see where this area has been critical over the last few weeks. All right, here's 120.30. And of course, 120 is actually the previous range top. So if we look back here, you can see where the 120 region was the high back here. It was also the high on this candle. And of course, looking at the weekly time frame, 119, you can see where it came in as support. So I talked about this last week on the weekly. This was the range top back here. The pair broke out from it. And even after this aggressive pullback, the pair never did close the week below 119. So 119, again, is going to be critical support. If that holds, we could very well see a move to 120 to 120, 30 and get above that. And we could see the Euro move back toward that 121 area. The price action on the pound isn't quite as favorable as the euro in my opinion. Um, we did have this false break above the channel top back here that I've mentioned now a few times. You can see we have this ascending channel that's been in place for the last few months. And this false break did hint at weakness. All right, so we did see the close below it, got a slight bounce back toward that 140 area, and the pound did sell off quite a bit over the next few days. But right now it is holding above 139. All right, so this is the level I've been talking about now for the last week. 139 is support at the moment on the daily time frame. Notice how it was support back here and resistance before that. So it's a little bit difficult to identify where the pound is going over the short term just because it does look pretty indecisive as it's just sideways right now. With that said, one possible scenario if we look at the four hour time frame and if the US dollar stays weak, okay, if the Euro USD is going to move higher, we could very well see the pound do the same. All right, so one thing to keep an eye on here is if this turns into an inverse head and shoulders on the intraday charts. All right, so right now we have a potential right shoulder forming. Notice the left shoulder over here. We have a potential head and of course the neckline up here right around the 140 handle. So if 119 can hold this week, we could see the pound move higher back toward that 140 area. We'll then need to close above that region to confirm the breakout. Now, looking at the height of this pattern, it comes in right around 220 pips. Okay, so 220 pips from the neckline to the low. And if we measure 220 pips higher, you can see that we get this previous high up here right around 142.40. Okay, so this is the high. It's also the measured objective of this potential inverse head and shoulders. Now, again, we need to close above 140 to confirm the breakout. And if the US dollar is going to stay weak, we could very well see the pound do something like this where it comes up to 140, 
test that area breaks above it and goes on an extended run this month back toward that 142.40 area. Alternatively, if the 119 area breaks down and we see the pound move below this low down here and especially these two recent lows, that would negate this entire idea and send the pound back toward that 137.40 area. So I mentioned the 1680 area on gold, this support area a few times in the last couple of weeks. So this was a critical level as it was previous resistance back here. It then flipped to support. So it's a key horizontal level. It's also the bottom of this descending channel that's been in place for months. And furthermore, looking at the Fibonacci levels from this low down here all the way up here toward 2075, you can see where the 61.8 Fib level also lines up right at 1680. And sure enough, gold bounced right from that area. All right, now going forward, obviously the 1750 slash 60 region is going to be resistance. It was support back here and resistance before that. It's also the 50% retracement of this range from the March low to the all time high. But as long as XAU USD is above 1680, I do like this market higher at least toward 1750. It's going to take a daily close above that to expose the next area, which in my opinion should line up right around that 38.2 fib near 1830. That's also going to be the intersection of this channel top. So for the week ahead, 1680 is support, 1750 slash 60 is resistance with a daily close above that, taking the pair up toward that 1830 area. So Bitcoin, that's BTC USD, is breaking out to a new all-time high today. You can see where 58,000 was the previous all-time high, and the pair then went through this consolidation period of about 26%. So today marks a big moment. It's an all-time high, and if we do get a daily close above 58,000, which looks likely at the moment, it would mean that this area becomes support, and it also sets Bitcoin on a path much higher. So if this follows the January correction, all right, I do think there is a very good chance we see Bitcoin move toward the 70 to $80,000 over the next few weeks. This back here was the January correction. Once this was over, Bitcoin ran for about 100%. Now, this pullback was about 31%. This latest one is about 26%. So I do think that there's a chance that we see a little bit of a shallower rally this time, maybe up toward the 70 to $80,000 area, which would be about 70% from this low. You can also see where we have this trend line off of these two highs that intersects right in that region. So I think over the next few weeks, as long as 58 holds, we could see Bitcoin move higher up toward this area. Now, that's certainly not the top, in my opinion, for this bull market. I think that Bitcoin is going to go much, much higher. But in terms of these retracements that we've seen, I'm not necessarily expecting another 25 or 30 percent retracement at this area, but I do think we could see a significant pullback once we do reach it. And as far as resistance levels on the way up, it's a little bit difficult to tell just because right now Bitcoin is in price discovery. All right, it's never been this high before, so we are pretty much just going off of the price action as it unfolds. One thing I can say is that $60,000 which was tested today should be resistance because it is a big round number. The same thing goes for 65,000 and 70,000 on the way up. But anything right now, in my opinion, as long as we close the day above 58, any dips right now are buying opportunities. That's just my opinion, not financial advice, but I have been buying Bitcoin since it was right around $8,000 last year. And I do think it's going well above $100,000 this year. So last but certainly not least is VET, that's VeChain's native token. This is also a cryptocurrency. I've been talking about it since early last year and I was buying this well below a penny. And right now this crypto is sitting just below the seven cent mark. In fact, that was tested this past week with this high. We then got yesterday's pullback, but it came right within this channel support. All right, so in my opinion, this is what the path forward could look like over the next few weeks, as long as of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum stay constructive, which I think they will. But if they do, we could very well see a move up toward the 10 cent area over the next few days as the crypto market really starts to heat up. Now, just like Bitcoin, it is in price discovery. So it's a little bit difficult to identify where resistance is gonna be on the way up. We know that the 7 cent area just above it is going to be resistance. And we can pretty much assume that just like Bitcoin, again, big round numbers, 
like eight cents, nine cents, and of course, 10 cents will be resistance or at least attract sellers on the way up. And of course, this yellow dotted line is just my opinion of where VET could go over the next few days and weeks. There are no guarantees, and this is certainly not financial advice. Because keep in mind, this is the crypto market. Anything can happen. We could see the pair break below support and retest that six cents area, perhaps even five and a half cents. But just given what I'm seeing from Bitcoin and Ethereum right now, I don't think that's likely. I think the more likely scenario is to see a break above seven cents over the next couple of days. And that's actually something I mentioned on Twitter this morning. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you do. It's Justin Bennett FX because I'm sharing a lot of info on VET as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a bunch of other markets. So basically over the next couple of days, I do think there's a good chance that we see VET break above seven cents because the terminality of this pattern indicates that we either have to see a break below this channel support or above this seven cent area because right through here, is Monday's open. So basically Saturday and Sunday, okay, where we are right now, could very well be the last chance to buy VET below seven cents. The alternative to that, of course, like I mentioned earlier, would be a break below channel support. But again, with the way the markets are going right now, I do think that a break higher and a run at eight cents, nine cents, and eventually 10 cents is the more likely scenario. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.